Hello and welcome back. It always feels very weird when I'm doing a session straight after another one and I'm literally starting seconds after I've said goodbye, but yeah, it's that is the nature of the beast. Yeah, this is my hello and it follows straight on from my goodbye a few seconds ago. It does. Right, so let's fill this and let's crack on with the water and then we're gonna go across the road. We, the one job we have got to do still is the manure here which we do want to do that. Yeah, this is part of the reason, obviously with massive tickups, we've got, we're doing bread really well. We've got milk, obviously up three different dairies. Is it three or two? It might be two, but it's still a lot. No, it is three. Yeah, of course, forgetting the lorts as well. Yeah, it's not filling properly. It's only partially filling. Not that I'm complaining, but... Or is it that this is... Ah, is it this that's full? No. No, it's draining almost instantly. Wow. What is... Is it this the greedy fish here that's... Water. It is. It's nearly a mill. That's taking nearly all the water, to be honest. Right. Let's go and top the rest of that. That is moving very badly though. Do you know something? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to shift this out of the way. We're going to use the lorry for a minute and just make this a bit tidier for the poor Zeta. Because I don't know, even though it did, it actually pulled forwards quite powerfully. I was quite impressed with it. Let's push it a little like that. Not really doing any damage. Wow. Okay. That's yeah, there is a lot of liquid in there though, really lots. Okay. Let's open this that. This time, being as we can actually see what we're doing, we're going to do this. So we can actually, he says as it crashes into the And then crashes into the... Oh, seriously. Please don't do it a third time. It's definitely better. Not quite in the right place for that. Well, actually, it did say start filling. It's definitely something strange about the the backs playing up. The the forty eight foot tanker it is definitely being strange. Did exactly the same for the Zeta. It's, I think the mods crashed. If I'm honest, I've seen this before. So it's yeah, it's perhaps all the stop, start, stop, start. It's perhaps only likes to do so many liters a day, and it's, it's reached its limit. Right. Yeah, straighten up the first before we're gonna drag that. Right, then let's grab the Zeta. See if that has more look than the TLX. and it's not like it's too empty. We've not got time. We've got to examine, see someone's full, see if that's going to empty. Did I take the trailer back? I don't think I did, did I? It'll be that one, of course, that's ready to empty. Yeah, it is. I can see. Right. You know, this is what you get when you try to do lots of things at once. 
when you get run into a problem like that. Bad effort. Really wasn't. <laughs> I do like these the workers can be quite innovative sometimes. Yeah. What are they doing across the road? Let's have a quick look. Oh my life, they've still managed to get catch that and I moved him out of the way. Seriously. Do you know, that's the first map teleport I've done for ages. Except on Rombos where it is so massive. Yep, yeah, I'd spend half of the episode running down to the yeah, the bit where we have the water distributor if I didn't map teleport on that let's play. It is a monster, it really is. Right, let's Done well on its own. Well, they've been faffing around. Right, it's nearest go. Right, let's go across the road. Let's bring that in. Let's empty that again, being as we are. Yeah, this time though, we're not going to leave it. And let's did you do all that you did. You did everything, smash it. So, all we've got left to do is manure. And finishing that field off, yeah. And next, next month it is the wheat harvest. Now that is another thing. On my Western White, no, it wasn't Western White. It's on my Rombos, we have at least been clever in so much as we've done multiple. We need to see how much wheat and barley as to how whether our single bakery can cope or whether we need to do more. Is the, it is, yeah. Right, let's do you. On the edge of the field. Hopefully, there's no transport lines running past where you are. Because that just cause mayhem. What are you doing? Wow, this is a big field. Right, across the road. We could get the wheel loader. Yeah. Right, we could actually, that makes sense. We could then get the manure. Whoa, I could see that happening. You know when your reactions don't register in time, but you know something bad's going to happen? Yeah, I knew that. Actually, though, do I need this over here for shifting the headers? Maybe it's true. We could do it with a. We could. Let's. Yeah, let's grab the. We've got plenty of vehicles over the other side. We have got. No, the, I want the John Deere to get a bit of use. He can stay over there and be the trailer puller. We have. No, see, I think that's crashed and burned. Let's grab the little. the trailer we've left ready for this very job. The Rudolph that I always want to call a Roland. I have no idea why. The same as I have no idea why I always want to call the torpedo the bullet. It's strange. It's amazing when your brain's got something wrong and sometimes it wants to repeat it. Very strange. Ooh, let's turn that off now. Might not be doing a total realism series, but yeah, let's let's go with as maximum space as we can.
Yeah, I do. I don't know whether I do like the FS22. This where you can do things like that, where you can fill it. Where obviously in FS19, you always have to have like a wheel load or a telehandler. I think Giants are supposed to are probably trying to appeal to all levels of players and all t types of people. If you have got time to do something, if you haven't got time to do something, yeah. So I think the choice is yours. Obviously, as, as I keep saying on this, a lot of the choices I make are down to the time element myself. Because this, yeah, even our daily tasks are now quite large. Right, let's shift you forward a minute. because he started much more or is it he? No, it's Farmer Girl herself, the lady of the video. Yeah, no, we have the and she's beating the people across the road, which is ah two lads. Obi Wan and Lando across the road. Shilly shallying around. Oh Padme has pretty much uh sorted that entire field out. Ah we no, we're still shilly shallying around. What are you doing? Do you know something, lads? You're fired. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Neither of you is moving, and the, one of you was obviously in the lead. That's bizarre. Get it? When you do silly things like that. Right. Well, we're going to tidy up before Padme literally steals the show and does that her entire field while you two is shilly shelling around taking money for just sitting in a tractor combine combine mr smith yeah let's you get a rant at least rant accurately and her field is twice as big as this one. Actually, no, this is quite a large field, actually. We should have a look on the map. The spirit of healthy competition. Lando has completed his task. Right, let's do this tidy up then. Yes, not a single time lapse in the last two sessions. Once, yeah, there's not always a need. As I, yeah, this is just me finishing up really from last session. Truthfully, I did hope to do it in one session. I was going to time lapse quite a bit, but it never did work out. We were getting that many problems and such like things that, yeah, a time lapse never really happened. row. Let's see Padme whether she can self load. I'm not sure. I think we're going to leave these over here because tomorrow we've obviously got the wheat harvest in the next field as she's unloaded. So to me I don't think there's any point in running anything except for the barley itself in the trailers. Yeah, I think this should stay. Right, tidy up. Last row. Just said about two or three minutes ago. 
but then I found there were lots of little bits to tie the up so yes it'll be interesting to see what we have got we shall empty the barley into the uh, silo we shall see what we've got I am intrigued ah still bits of tidy up as well header trader is in 73, let's see, I think, is that right? Yeah, if that's 2nd growth stage, that means it's going to be done in July. If it's 1st growth stage, it's going to be done in August, so there will be one last cut. So if there is, we are going to do it. Yeah, I'd like to finish this Let's Play and this year literally to, yeah, so that we do it to completion, sell our digest that like we normally would in the back end and leave it at that point yeah, we've got full animals so let's do that in the 70 tonner yeah, we shall leave the uh, wheel loader as well, ready to do it I think that metal thing that I thought was stuck in there is the rail that the pusher travels down, I don't think it is anything that I've dropped in there, it's just you don't normally see in it I think right, let's make sure that that transit engine is running and it should be all running Let's get these two across the road and we're going to see how Padme's doing. She's stuck. I've not, not been noticing because I've been concentrating whether her amount is going up. Seems to be stuck. 23%. Again, impatience really is. Let's see if follow me can actually do this correctly. Just yeah, always. Not as, if it was a time lapse, then yeah, I think my golden rule is going to be while it's not a, yeah, a realistic series that we uh, don't time lapse in this mode. That's definitely not. Ooh, says I said a chubby jump in. Just see if that does it correctly. Again. Whoa, Genesis has caught me out again. That was well. What was. Now then, I'm being bashed from behind. He just banged me into something. That's the, that's the torpedo. I think 
we'll take the sensor tuner in. We shall relieve the little excellent lizard that has done such a cracking job. Although it has... Wow, I think she's finished. So do you know something? We're not going to relieve it at all. Smash it. Yeah, the one. If I was going to stay, the one thing I was going to is going to say is I would be. I would improve the layout of the fields. I would go for double gates. Yeah, it's annoying the fact that we always get caught out. I think what I would do is actually make the sugar beet fields, um, I'd leave a bit of storage I think, reduce the field very slightly and leave us a little bit of room for, ah, is that it? Excellent. Oh, that is, when the plan comes together like that, right, I think it's a bit tidy up though. Although, do you know, it is funny, I'll run across that entire field and I'll probably get 30 litres, which, you've got to ask yourself the question, is the... Ten pounds worth of fuel that you're going to waste, worth the three pounds worth of wheat. <laughs> You've always got to ask yourself that question, right? Anyway, so seventy ton. We've got to just quickly wrap all in the yeah. Let's find ourselves in the room. Let's grab the. Wow, well, we've got some more manure. Let's finish this off this session. Let's grab the manure. Let's grab the barley and then we are going to leave things. So we're going to speed time up. Because we have done what we can do. Back. Right. There's something about it. If you press the brakes on this, it speeds the unload rate. Right. Let's move the Genesis out of the way. Reverse this. Well, actually, I'm not going to do it. Oh, no, swivel axe at all. It's practice. Just don't always give in. Right. Smashing. We seem to have too many trailers in this area at the minute. We've got to find a better place for this one though. With it been a swivel axle, it's yeah, it's not the easiest to find a home for. I think against this shed. It's, I think yeah, I think being as it is a swivel axle, we'll swing round and heavily to the left like that so it doesn't get in the way of them moving it says as he leaves that one in the way smashing now that is the point that used to live there Let's go and get the manure. And that can stay there, that's not hurting. Let's switch your engine on. No, actually not. Let's get you ready, because if we're going to speed through the day... We, no, yeah, we are, we're, we're going to finish this off. All the little jobs. Get the manure done and speed the day up and get this in and get the milk. You'll know that's the other job we've got to do. Right. Wasn't going, was not moving, it refused. I have, I have got this nasty habit of sticking my reverse and forward motion, the brake and forward at the same time. What it is, I've always done it for as long as I can remember and then I wonder why I'm not getting anywhere because I'm obviously pressing both buttons at the same time. It's a bad habit. No, let's 
let's not rush at all. Let's just see if the seat is working. No, it's not. So it's half a load. We'll leave that till tomorrow, I think. So all that we have left to do is the milk and we'll do a tip of the rest of the silage that we've got in that trailer later on. Uh, we also need to fill the water up so we don't get a repeat performance of the last couple of days. Although, to be honest, thinking about yesterday, I am almost sure that when we... It was late, and I had got 25 tonnes. So we're going to make sure, we're going to stop at tea time and make sure there's 25 tonnes of water in the water and see that if we sleep till the morning, and whether that still leaves us in a bad position. Ah. it's on the left. Yeah, let's do back. That might help. That's better. Right. So, milk. where it should be. Did I do the milk run today? I don't think I did, did I? No, I didn't. Right, so we need to be, first of all, doing our proper milk run for the dairies to produce our butter and chocolate and all the rest of it. That's the point. Have we got any sugar at the minute? I'm not sure we should have. Plenty, 56 tons of sugar. So the chocolate, that is another good money spinner. So that is another thing that is bringing in, it's in a lot of money. Right. Yeah, so we have got three dairies. We've got the two two little blue dairies and we've also got the lots which is also being a not as good a, well it's not much different actually yeah the lots is, is doing an awful lot it's, it's an absolutely fantastic bakery uh, sorry flour mill it is I mean the land back right is still the king of yeah it is definitely right let's top this up let's sell our milk let's the Lortz is going to be full, I think, till the end of this Let's Play. It shouldn't need to open it. We'll check it in a couple of months, but I'm almost sure that I'm right. It's going to be full right till the end. Because so I think we've got 150 or 160 tonnes, so way too much. How much milk have we got? Oh, wow. At least two of these. At least. So, let's go and sell the milk. This is this is where we could have really done with larger ones, but with it, with it being this late in the let's play, I'm going to manage with what we've got. It's not like you you couldn't. It's not like this is terrible. It's not like a 13 ton nursing tank or something like that. It's still doable, especially when you consider we're literally next door. Yeah, if we've got to go halfway across the map at that point, it is yeah. concentrate, Mr. Smith. Yeah, if it was halfway across the map, it would well be. We have also got to do the straw, but we, I'm not going to worry about that till after the harvest. Whoa.
What wind gel have we got? No, a baler is the windrow, you wally. Yes, it is. That is true. Yes, so we can set that going on the fields. If I'd have, if I'd have thought earlier, I could have set that going. But to be honest, I always find it awkward when you've got everything on the field. It's much easier to start everything when there's nothing. We've got the harvesters on the field, and then we've got harvesters tomorrow. So, yeah, I'd like to get that out of the way. I still can't believe that sign managed to get in our way. It's like it was built. Oh, there was a bit in that corner. do this other 28 tons and we shall speed the time up until the end of the day make sure that we've got 25 tons of That's 48 tons of milk sold directly, as well as all of our dairy work. Phenomenal. And obviously, as I say, we're doing the manure, the slurry, and the silage all is doing energy payout so we yeah we certainly are maximizing our profit with our business model it certainly has been a very successful business model yes i'm really wondering obviously with the western wires being 3.7 mil i'm just wondering to see because obviously the two let's plays that one exploded this one is it has grown when you consider all of the fields we've got. We have now got a lot of fields. We really have. It's not when you consider we bought field 70 was our original field. I think we've done quite well. Is it if this finished anywhere near Western Wilds, I'd be surprised. But looking at the amount we've got now. Oh wow. 3000 environmental score as well. Phenomenal. Right, so then, yeah, speed up till tomorrow. We're going to leave this tomorrow morning. I'm not going to do the animals. That's next session. And I'm going to do that tidy up of that field. No, it is getting a bit late, actually. Work in the morning. Yeah, it's horrible when things like that get in the way, but they do, unfortunately. Just wanted to finish the... from earlier... Let's switch you off, let's switch the engine off in the nursing tanks, it annoys me enormously. Smashing, excellent, and we're going to go to tea time till, oh, it's only 9.40 in the morning. Okay, might do another run actually looking at this. Yeah, we can't waste time, or do we? No, we will. Yeah, as I said, oh, it was the straw. I was just thinking about the straw, but it's really not going to hurt. Oh, it's going to rain in a bit. Take this to dinner, then we'll do another top up. doing that we're gonna go and grab the yeah, top this up ready for tomorrow morning I would do a water run but we seem to have got that crashed and burned for some reason so It. 
top this up, top that the hopper up at the BGA. Wow. God, I bet it's up to 34 tons. could be position as well, it might not have crashed and burnt, it might just be position. Yes, I haven't forgotten about adding in all the... Um oh, I can't think of its name. My sheep farm. I haven't forgotten either of those. I shall be back, but I just wanted to move this along and almost tempted to finish Greenlands to concentrate almost entirely on this and almost Hobo's Hollow as well because both are so close to being finished that it would be nice to start a new chapter. I'm uh, going to work on my Stone Valley map as my American map and I've got Rombos as my European map and that is the model I'm trying to actually do right now then let's just check water. It's four o'clock. Oh, we fool. We are smashing. And we are going to sleep through till morning. And we are going to stay till eight. We shall check the... Uh, we should still check the cells, because if we got a cheap um, big tanker or something like that, that would be useful, I will buy it. But I'm not worried our grass is fully grown now in July, so actually we're also doing that. Swadro and Sanorga. Tip is trade. Oh, it just say chase Orga wagon. Hmm. Fifty meters. That is a very good price actually. It's not one of the B ones, is it? Is that a push as well? It is. Do we do it? Do we spend 41 on an auger on an English map? I will think about it. Right, last. Now we'll tip this now. And then that's where we're going to leave it. Let's just go quickly check. Wow, nearly 2 mil. Let's just go quickly check the water. It's, uh, ooh, wow, it is right. This. Even topping it up is nearly, yeah. Right, we will do this one thing. Wow, food is, yeah, food is okay. It's lost 120 tons, but it's still passable. It should be right. And that is where we're going to leave it. Yeah, it's almost 2 million. We are touching that. So let's just see. Am I correct? Is this going to be... Are they, two? they are. Yeah, 54 and 72 are both ready. Also, this is going to be a mega session because the grass is also ready. Yeah, this lovely lush golden green. So, oh, yes, yeah, it is true, actually. Is it going to hurt if we leave the grass till August? Because we're going to be traipsing in and out with trailers and bailers and all the rest of it we yeah for like the straw i think it's gonna yeah we're gonna be using the equipment that we should be using there i think we'll concentrate august september october november 
yeah, we'll do that one final cut in August next month. We'll get the harvest done, and then all we've got left to do is obviously the digestate cash out, and the of course the sugar beet harvest. Now that's that it, the sugar beets left me a bit of a quandary because obviously we're going to be getting that sugar, but we're not really going to be making use of it. So we might actually sell it or just leave it because I think to be honest we not going to need to worry about that. Let's just move that over and start filling whilst I'm saying my goodbyes. Yes. So we'll get everything loaded in next session. Animals fed. Water has been done. Slurry silage. All of that type of stuff. But we should start this loading and hopefully next time get the water going again because yeah it's a bit bizarre. But I have no need to crash a burn before, and also it can be positioned, like I said. Right, smashing. So, yes, there's not many months left of the Let's Play Bought. Yeah, it will be very nice to see where we get to. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't touch more than three mil. And looking at the way we're shooting up, it's only July. We've got a lot of silage, the grass, there's the straw that's going to be converted to silage. This is this will do 240 grass conversion and 240 tons of uh, straw silage in one month. So that's 480 tons of silage per month. And yeah, it is. I, we may well actually have a lot of silage on hand that we can't process in time in the BGA. So, yeah, it, it, we, I'm not going to worry about things like that. I'm not. If we, It's just going to be part of the tally. We'll look and see if we've got 400 tonnes of sugar beet and all that type of stuff. It's just it's a bonus on top of what money we leave the Let's Play with, as well as the stupendous equipment that we have actually got. Yes. Right. The one thing is that I would say what I would normally be doing is I would normally be getting the field prep done for next year. I'm Mr. CDP used to do that. Now I personally, knowing that I'm not staying on the Let's Play, I'm going to be realistic and true to this. This farm is going to be sold to somebody else at the end of this year. Wink, wink. So I am not. There. I'm going to leave that to them. They can, uh, yeah, sow the fields in August, September, August. No, it's September as well. Yeah. Or even next year if they want to put things like sugar beet and oats and things like that in. So sorghum. I'm not sure if sorghum is a British crop, but I don't know. Anyway, enough waffling from me. Yes, thank you very much for watching. I truly do hope you're going to continue with me on what's left of this Let's Play. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, I don't know about yourselves. I would like to see where this actually goes to because I am stupendously shocked in a very nice way at how much our daily tick up is. It's well over 200,000 per day, well over that. So yeah, anyway, I am gonna say goodbye for now.